till to time. So lunch was just long enough. So now the sun's shining on me. But anyway, it's actually, the days have been pretty good really. It's not the middle of summer when it's 40 degrees or so. Celsius that is. So this little trap door should reveal some fuel filters. I've seen those as I've been on a rock. <laughs> Fair call. <laughs> I got it. You got it. I'm just very nearly going to pinch my fingers. <laughs> Don't do that. Do you want a hand? I don't think we can fit. There's a tap for the fuel tank at the back, isn't there? <laughs> well, I had a phone call I had to deal with, but Josiah throwing stuff at me but Josiah did uh, he, it's good stuff he took the initiative and he got the other filter off he's ready to put these ones on um, I was just showing him that the instructions are on the filter so step one is don't fill it up with fuel step two is lubricate the o-ring step three is spin it on and then it's one full turn so much the same as the oil filter so um, yeah, there's that is happening, um, and Brad is just taken off in the sty to pick up the mother bin, which finally is going to be getting some cover. So now that the dump truck's moved, we can um, we can throw the mother bin in this this end of the shed. We'll try and get as close as we can to the wall. So it's my job to guide him in. So. I guess that means if this goes bad, it's all my fault. Someone parked a D11 a little bit in the road. Whoops.
can either go forward or just move the front like How's the end looking? How are we looking? Sorry guys, the most exciting bit, the GoPro didn't turn on when I thought it did. But uh, yeah, it's in. And there's still a good amount of, uh, just pull up, oh yeah. There's still a good amount of um, space too. That, the shed is pretty big, isn't it? 100, 130 ton mother bin and it only takes up two thirds. It only just fits the old Yeah. That's pretty good. what it's about you just try to do one job and you get distracted and it just never ends right so Josiah's got these in here that's good just need to start feeding it don't be like that Oh, I bet you that tap's still off. Oh. <laughs> Get good at climbing. <sighs> I'll be here for a little while, guys. I bet you the new ones have got a little electronic pump. I'll tune in in a bit. Right, after five minutes of doing this, my arm is very sore. But also, it's just started to get a bit harder. And I can hear it just trickling back into the tank. So, on the return line, into the tank. So that means it's all the filters are full of uh, fuel. So that should all be all we need to do there. So what do we do? We'll go um, 38, 5, 0, 0 hours. We'll go done. Just so people, there's no confusing. Uh, what is the date? Uh, eight. I'm armed with the cabin filters. So this big long one is um, for the outside. So it obviously gets really dirt, dirty and dusty. And this one here 
looks like the uh, lint filter out of a dryer. Um, yeah, that's the recirculate filter. So uh, very important because that is what stops the evaporator from getting clogged up. So I think on the other one, on Tiny 3, um, when I was doing the aircon, the evaporator was pretty dirty and yeah, the foam in this had half deteriorated, so it was just sucking in all that that stuff from inside and yeah, got, getting stuck to the evaporator and blocking it up. Right, oh, so we've got both air cleaners out and they are ready to be blown out. Might get Josiah if he's free to do that. Um, we're just getting organized here to put oil in it. Hopefully that's in the right tube. That looks like engine oil tube to you. I hope so. <laughs> so, yes, these little Milwaukee pumps are a lifesaver, eh? That's hard work. Yeah. Get a sore thumb. Yeah. We do have a hand one here, but. Yeah. This could go on 20 litres. Yes, because it's. A lot of the time, it, it's great having the 44 gallon drums, but sometimes you only need 5 litres. Or 20. What did you do? Watch out for the shirt. Good thing it's the old one. Is it? Yeah. I think that was about 100 litres, so that's what it takes, isn't it? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, those shuttles cut underneath work well. Just oh, yeah. go under, dump it. So you just drive under there, don't you? Yeah, oh, just. Well, you can either drive over it or I just dragged it in under there. But. How many hours is this thing? This would have done 5,000 hours probably since we've had it. Uh, what was it on? 30... Yeah, 30... 30 a few. Was it on 32,000 hours? I think it might have been. So it's done probably 6,000 hours. Yeah, it could have done. Wowzers. The numbers we calculated that it needed to do to pay but pay for itself was a thousand hours so that is good going well I imagine this is pretty boring watching oil uh, watching us fill oil so I'll tune back in when we're a bit more I'm quite happy really it's not hard work isn't that usual for you <laughs> hey, I shouldn't say that I'm yeah like that yeah you. no I take that back <laughs> I'm this. the one that I'm the one that sneaks up with a camera and mm. makes it look like I'm busy but yeah, exactly. The problem is this shed it echoes bad, so we know when Matt's telling the story, <laughs> all Right, next job is coolant filter. Now it does actually take two, but I could only find one filter. But um it is, they are in series, so this filter here is the first one, and then it goes into the second one. So this one should be the dirtiest one. Um, so yeah, I've got these taps turned off just so we don't make a mess and that should be all we need to do. Just got to take the preload off the track. So we can measure the track tension. It's very scientific. You want to fit your hand under there. Can you see it? It's 
It's a greasy place in there. That's why I brought a rag. <laughs> Well, I'll pull the trigger if you put it in. If you ever work for the Jackson, you always grab a rack. Tell me we're out of grease. What? We are too. I could hear it. Every time. So that one's pumped up pretty good. The um, end bit of the grease gun wasn't really functioning as it should, so to the handheld uh, the hand pump, I mean. So I just got to check this final drive, make sure it's level's good. We'll probably have to bring the oil um, down tomorrow and do it, but I guess we'll know what we need to do if we check it now. Um, right, I'll jump in and um, I'll back up, I reckon, and just make sure that the blade clears the shuttle full of oil underneath. That would be a mess if I accidentally dropped the blade on the on all that oil. We're done. 
So I just need a uh, 50, 50 weight oil in that oh. and a bolt. Oh, hold right there. And what else? What else are we going to get in trouble from Phil about for not doing? Uh, making sure it's spotlessly clean. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well, Brad's pretty keen because dump truck's working, dozer's working. <laughs> Pretty much everything's working so he's excited that we might actually be able to drive some machines tomorrow so we'll see what happens then but we'll probably leave it there remember if you do enjoy the videos uh, hit the like button uh, even if it's a little bit different than what we usually do um, I look at the likes to see sort of what people are interested in the most um, so yeah just make sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy it and um, yeah we'll catch you in the next one